A radio station in Lake Houchin is fighting to stay on the air. Volunteers man the microphones and line up the music, and a board of directors oversees the operation. But no matter how small or homegrown a station may be, it still must answer to the CRTC, Canada's governing body for broadcast. As CTV Scott Cunningham shows us, the station needs a significant cash influx to meet regulatory requirements and stay on the air. So good morning, Couch and Lake. Welcome to the Jenny Clark Show on 98.7 FM. The only radio waves that originate in Lake Cowichan come from a small barn. A morning show wakes up the community with oldies rock, but today's show includes another on kind TV. of wake-up call. Save our station. Please come and save our station right here in Cowichan Lake area. If volunteers don't come up with a big chunk of cash, the non-profit broadcaster could soon fall silent. The station's three-year starter license expires this summer. The Canadian Radio Television Telecommunications Commission now requires the station to apply for a five-year license, and it doesn't come cheap. The CRTC will not extend the uh, learner's permit, so what we've done now is we have to go on to a really fast mode of getting all the requirements met to make an application for a full broadcast license. Saving the tiny radio station means the community will have to reach deep into their wallets. CRTC approval means a $15,000 upgrade. I've got free tickets to give away. To the community station does not have a way to measure the number of listeners it has, but it is clear that there's a strong support for the independent voice on the airwaves. There's a lot of people in this community that don't have television, they don't have um, internet. Uh, in a digital age, having a radio station is an awesome thing to have. We're on 98.7 FM, The Lake, on CICV. Broadcast range is one issue. The station needs to boost its signal to reach outlying areas such as Honeymoon Bay. On top of that, a new license will require a broadcast engineer to be hired to do a full station assessment for the CRTC. We need some big money in order to stay on the line. Yeah. And it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be a, a, a fight, but we're going to go for it and we're going to win. The group has until August and volunteers are taking to the airwaves to ask for your support. Donations are being accepted at the station and local businesses are also being offered advertising time in exchange for financial support. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Lake Cowichan.